In this video, we're gonna discuss some of the surrounding communities of Wilmington where you get more bang for your buck. It's 2022 and everybody's trying to stretch a buck just a little bit further. Inflation is through the roof. Home prices are higher than we've seen them in decades. Everything seems like it costs just a little bit more than it did yesterday. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and discuss some of the surrounding communities around Wilmington, North Carolina, where your money will go a little bit further. We're talking about bigger lots, bigger houses, planned communities for less money. My name is Jake Wire, Wilmington, North Carolina realtor. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and discuss some of the surrounding communities, what that drive is gonna look like commuting back and forth to Wilmington. If this content is interesting to you, if you find this video helpful, go ahead and give us a like, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. You'll be notified every single time we upload content just like this. Our channel is 100% content about Wilmington, North Carolina, surrounding areas. So if that's what you're looking for, if you're interested in possibly making a move here, if you're looking for more information, this is the spot. Do yourself a favor, hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, Let's go ahead and see what that drive out to Leland, North Carolina looks like. Let's take a drive over the river and see exactly what that commute's gonna look like. We'll see a few communities out there. And then right after that, we're gonna take a drive on up to Hampstead. We'll see what that drive looks like and look at a few hidden gems up in that direction too. All right, thanks for taking the drive. So we're gonna start off here on the north end of the historical downtown Wilmington. We're headed across the Isabel Homes Bridge. Uh, this is a drawbridge. There's a second drawbridge to the south, the Cape Fear Memorial Bridge, which is probably the more iconic of the two bridges. We're going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit because this is a 10 minute drive. So we're going to go ahead across the bridge and we are now on the Brunswick County side of the Cape Fear River. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. We're going to chop out the middle of this drive. So this is what the drive looks like on the map. A 10 minute drive from the historical downtown. And I went ahead and mapped it to basically Harris Teeter, which is in the middle of the Leland commercial space. So we're coming on up right now on the right hand side, you're going to see some of the commercial spaces opening up over here. Uh, we, there's also additional commercial space on the left hand side. If you go further up towards Brunswick Forest, uh, we're going, like I said, speed this up. We don't want to be in the car here too long. So we're going to be entering into what is the Waterford community entrance um, and if you continue down this road that we're going to turn on right here you would enter into the Waterford of the Carolina community which also connects to Magnolia Greens you can see the water feature right here on the left as we pass now as you can see this is a pretty good sized commercial space and they're continuing to build more Let's go ahead and get on out of the car, stretch our legs a little bit and talk a little bit about what's in the shopping center. And then we can head on out and check out a few of the hidden gym communities here in Leland, just 10, 15 minutes away from the shop. Hey guys, I'm here at the Waterford Shopping Center here in Leland. And as you can see, pretty good sized shopping center. It's got a grocery store, Harris Teeter. It's got your restaurants, quite a bit of different commercial spaces in here. Um, and then right up the way is actually a Walmart Superstore, more restaurants, uh, there's going to be a brewery going in up there. So really everything you need as far as shopping is really here in Leland now. Um, and then 10 minutes across the bridge is of course downtown Wilmington. So if you need anything additionally, you can just hop right over to, to downtown very quickly. So very convenient. One of the benefits of being here in Leland. Okay, so our first community here in Leland, little hidden gem here is Grayson Park. Now, as you come through the entrance, you're going to see some very nice mature landscaping. The front half of this community is actually completely built, and there are some resale homes for sale in the $400,000 range. Um, now, you can see the sidewalks and the landscaping continue throughout this community, which is absolutely gorgeous. There's quite a few nice, beautiful little wooden bridges um, that you'll see coming through as you drive through the community as well. So definitely, they left a lot of the mature landscaping, which is very nice for a new construction community. Now the back half of this community is fully under construction and we'll get back to that in just a bit. But we're gonna drive through the front of this, we're gonna speed this up just a little bit because I want you to see that this neighborhood does have all these walking trails. It also has some very nice community amenities such as community pool, clubhouse, tennis courts, 
Um, and again, all these sidewalks throughout the community and street lights are all maintained by the community as well. Now we're coming up right here, up in the distance here is going to be the clubhouse. Sorry about the swervy driving in the fast forward, but um, didn't want to be in the car too long in the community, but I wanted to cover some ground here. So that will be the clubhouse there. You'll see the tennis courts to the left and the pool is also to the rear of the clubhouse. So after we leave this area of the community, we're going to be quickly going into the back half of the community, which is under construction. So you see this to the right, all of that is going to be part of the community at some point. They're going to be building uh, new houses in this area. Uh, we're going to take a left over here. This is where they're currently selling homes. Now there's three builders currently building in this community, H&H, &H, Hardison, and Cavnus and Cates. Something to be aware of is that they are building spec homes in this neighborhood, which means you will have very limited choices as far as your selections on finishes. So this is the H&H &H model. This is the Hatteras plan. This home in particular is $416,000, four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,600 square foot. So this is some of the construction that's going on in the newer part of the community. Great bang for your buck, nice size lots, beautiful homes, very family friendly. All right, the next neighborhood is Mallory Creek Plantation here in Leland. Mallory Creek is actually made up of several individual neighborhoods built by different builders. This neighborhood is called The Retreat. Now Mallory Creek is actually really great, bang for your buck. Most of the lots are gonna be quarter acre and up. Very nice curb appeal, sidewalks throughout. It's also gonna boast two pools and two clubhouses once it's totally completed. Now, as you can see, this home right here is actually currently on market for $469,990. It's four bedroom, two and a half bathroom, 2,400 square foot, and a little bit more than a quarter acre lot. The retreat is actually partially complete, so there are some resales, but as you can see, there's still some new construction going on as well. We're gonna be leaving the retreat. Now you can see these sidewalks on the right, that actually connects up to Brunswick Forest continuously through Mallory Creek, so you can go for quite a long walk or bike ride. On your left, you're gonna see the brand new pool and clubhouse that's going in. And also on the right, our townhouses called The Pinnacle by Stephen Fine Homes. Now this neighborhood is by D.R. Horton. It's called The Forest. Again, continuous sidewalks throughout, quarter acre lots. You're gonna be able to get a little bit more modest home in this neighborhood for a little bit less money. This home in particular is on market at $342,990 by D.R. Horton. 1,343 square foot, three bedroom, two bath. Now, as you can see, it still has great curb appeal. All right, we're gonna go ahead and leave the forest. All right, taking a right out of the forest, we're gonna be heading into the more mature part of Mallory Creek Plantation, built in the early 2000s. There is a fully completed pool and clubhouse at the front. Again, great bang for your buck. This exit will leave you out on River Road. All right, that wraps up my communities in Leland that are hidden gems, big bang for your buck. Let's head back across the Memorial Bridge, across the Cape Fear, and back into New Hanover County. We're gonna go ahead and take a jump up to Porter's Neck, show you the drive up to Hampstead, and take a look at a couple of the communities that are real hidden gems in the Hampstead area. All right, here we are in the northeastern corner of New Hanover County. This is areas called Porter's Neck. Now you're gonna have a good amount of shopping here. On the right, there's gonna be Harris Teeter Grocery Store. On the left, there'll be a Walmart Superstore. And all the way up, there'll be a Lowe's hardware store, lots of restaurants, things like that. Now this area is gonna be somewhere that you're gonna be coming to quite a bit for shopping if you do live in the Hampstead area. Okay, let's go ahead and jump on Highway 17, headed north up to Pender County and Hampstead. Now this portion along the 17 is called Scott's Hill. There's some new communities. There's also quite a few more established communities right here. Uh, one item that you would be using if you do decide to live in Hampstead will be the Novant Emergency Facility if you ever do have a medical emergency and we'll be passing that. Coming up here, right here on the right.
Okay guys, just like that Leland drive, we're gonna go ahead and chop out a little bit of this drive because it is a 10 minute commute from that Porter's Neck shopping area to the Hampstead shopping area that's mapped out here. So as you can see, there's still quite a bit of open space between Wilmington and Hampstead. It is filling in quickly, but we're gonna go ahead and stop at the first of the shopping centers in Hampstead. Um, it's gonna have all your day-to-day -day basics, such as a, a food line grocery store, small gym, a couple of, of decent restaurants, um, gas stations, things of that sort. So everything that you're gonna really need day-to-day -day is gonna be either in this shopping center or it'll be a little bit to the further north shopping center, which would have another grocery store, which would be a Lowe's grocery store in that one, some more restaurants, uh, a pharmacy. Uh, so just your basic day-to-day -day stuff is here in Hampstead, but something to be aware of is that you will still be doing some of your shopping probably down in the Wilmington area and that Porter's Neck area. So this is the first of the shopping centers. Okay, that's kind of what the commute to Hampstead from Wilmington looks like, and this is kind of basically what the shopping in Hampstead is going to be. So let's go ahead and take off to the first little hidden gym community here in Hampstead. Okay, welcome to Crown Point. This Hampstead community has a community pool, kayak launch. You'll also notice that it does have generous sidewalks and mature landscaping throughout the community. It has a couple of builders in here doing spec homes. The front half has already been completed, the first couple phases. The rear half still has homes for sale. The builders in this community are the major ones, or Crossroads and Crown Point Legacy Homes. Now this home in particular right here is on market at 664,900, three bedroom, three bath, 2,862 square foot, and it's on a little bit over a half acre lot. So you are gonna have generous sized lots in this neighborhood. Now coming up here on the left, we're gonna have the community pool right here. And as you can see, we're starting to get back into the part of the neighborhood that does have some of the new construction going on and where some of the new homes will be available. That community kayak launch that I spoke of earlier will also be located towards the rear of the community. These next two communities are actually not in Hampstead. They're on the border, but they're technically in Rocky Point. They do both enjoy being in the award-winning Top Cell School District. This is Saratoga. As you can see, it's still very much under construction. The builders in here are Hardison and American Homesmith, which have some very nice elevations to these homes. Now, of all the neighborhoods we're gonna be looking at, this one probably boasts some of the largest lot sizes, some of them reaching over three acres. Now, this community will not have any pools or clubhouses. But you can see how much of this is under construction, but it does boast some very large lot sizes that have some mature landscaping to the rear. Now this home in particular is priced at $549,900, four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,470 square foot, and it boasts a 3.39 acre lot. So an enormous lot. So if you're looking for some space, this neighborhood might be a great choice. Welcome to Wiley Branch. This neighborhood is also in Rocky Point, just on the border of Hampstead. It will have a community pool and clubhouse when completed. It's still very much under construction, about a quarter of the way complete. And the builder here is A-Sides. This home in particular is on market for $399,000, 2,387 square foot. Three bedroom, two and a half bath, and a 0.48 acre lot. Some of the lots in this community do get all the way up to one acre. So it might be a great option if you are looking for the Top Cell School District. Hey guys, I hope that video was helpful. I hope that showed you a few of the hidden gems here in the surrounding areas around Wilmington, North Carolina. We can get a little more house for your money. If you are looking for more Wilmington content, check out our channel. That's all we do is cover Wilmington and the surrounding areas. If you have questions that I didn't answer in this video or you can't find them in our other videos, feel free to reach out to me, send me an email, give me a phone call, send that carrier pigeon, however you go about it. Just go ahead and reach out. I'd love to answer any questions you might have. 
stay tuned all the way to the end. We are going to have some links to some of our other videos. So if you are looking for content about Wilmington, check that out. Thank you so much for stopping by.